At the beginning, my inspiration were the islands themselves. I was amazed by how a small piece of land could hold such a large amount of diversity. They are so magnificent and at the same time so agile ecosystems. The islands of Mexico and their surrounding seas provide crucial breeding and foraging habitat for one-third of all seabird species worldwide. Project director Juliana Bedoya and her team at Conservación de Ilas work tirelessly to conserve these unique islands. Millions of stone petals of three different species fly and call all over the islands. You can hear the rapid movements of their wings. The nocturnal seabirds are so mysterious. They visit the islands only at night when they are breathing in burrows or among rocks, so they are very difficult to see. I feel it's my duty to protect them. In the past, several island seabird colonies were decimated by invasive mammals. But thanks to Juliana and her team, San Benito Oeste and Natividad Islands, among 23 others, are now invasive mammal-free, with previously locally extinct seabird populations recovered. Working with the small fishing communities who also call these islands home, biosecurity protocols were introduced to ensure these vital ecosystems remain safe havens. The communities have always been involved in all our projects. We began using art and culture to explore the relationship communities had with their surrounding environment, to promote a sense of belonging and pride in these unique ecosystems. In 2021, Juliana created a community leadership group to involve fishers' wives in conservation efforts, educating them on bird identification, biosecurity, and the biodiversity significance of their home. With the Whitley Award funding, we will continue to monitor the breeding success of these nocturnal seabirds while building up local capacity to ensure invasive species don't return to the islands. By training new community members and collaborating with fishing cooperatives, Juliana and her all-female team will work towards a sustainable future where local people can lead on the protection of their islands. For conservation to succeed, the local communities must be empowered as stewards of their land and resources.